You're listening to the gag on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Oh, there we go. There's the nice full frontal that I like. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Shit. Where's my stuff? What? I don't Seriously. know. Congratulations, yeah, Zach. Uh, on your wedding. On your marriage. Oh, thank you. I had to work really hard for that. <laughs> I, she's beautiful. So yeah, keep working hard. Yeah, she's a mate. I'm I'm pretty lucky. Month yeah. in so far, so far so good. Not gonna lie. That's good. That's cool. good. That's good. How yeah. long were you guys together years. before you got married? Uh, two and a half. But one of them was quarantined together, so that kind of felt like it was like a hyperbolic time chamber. Like you're either really gonna do well or you're not gonna do well at all. That was kind of the test. Yeah, I think Danny said at the beginning of the pandemic, it's like either people are going to make kids or get divorced. Oh, yeah. Or I both. bet it's probably about an equal amount or both. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, ah, oh, fuck, we messed up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. I, they're going to make kids and then get divorced. Like, they're going to just make mistakes mm-hmm. and then be like, fuck it, we can't do it. Like, it's been long enough. But then they're yeah. stuck together, held by a kid instead of quarantine. And that's where. <laughs> that's true. Amen. That's much longer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You and Nick. I'm Nick, writing, what are you doing? I'm writing something down. Hold on. Nah. Don't oh. give me your shit, guys. Oh, I Danny doesn't don't. even want to hear my fucking mouth. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is the gag on this podcast episode description. We'll have the show and guest social media. Subscribe to our YouTube page. And guess what? You can not only hear us two days before it's released, but you can see all of our pretty goddamn faces. Although I'm sure Rob's work friend will be mad that you put a shirt on, Danny. Hey, you know what? Yeah, probably. Sign up for her OnlyFans. (laughs) That's right. She does have she does have an OnlyFans. It is in the link. So hopefully, good for you. Appreciate uh, that. Uh, like and follow us on social media. Like what you hear, leave a review. Hate what you hear, I really don't give a shit. <laughs> um, my name is Big Nick. I'm joined by nationally traveling comedian, the Italian stallion, Danny. I'm sending you a link, but it's not for you, D. Yay. <laughs> we got a uh, co-host of the Stand Up Dads podcast, my Portuguese lover and person who hates in and out. Rob, fuck yeah! You <laughs> now can eat my ass. I think anyone could eat trash. It's like animal style, <laughs> probably. Yeah, yeah, put that nasty animal. ass sauce on there. Um, Sharon will be here uh, eventually. He's the vice president of the Sack Poet Society, and you know what? He doesn't get a good intro, so fuck him. Ouch! <laughs> but we are joined by the <laughs> hilarious George. I mean Zach Zimmerman. Oh, oh, oh wow. in there Damn. already. <laughs> wow. That's the first time I've ever heard that. That's so original. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured, you know, you do roasts all the time. So, oh, yeah. I'm sure yeah, heard. it's uh, it's all in good fun. I've uh, I've turned that whole thing into a bit. I mean, it kind of works out for me. Uh, but yeah, it does get addressed all the time. Uh, it had never been been a problem until the last couple of years. Now, you know, carrying around the last name Zimmerman, it's like it's tough. It's got me going. Not all Zimmermans are bad. Just a few bad apples, and that's not a good look either. Right now, you know. <laughs> You're like, no, no. I like iced tea and Skittles. Come on, guys. Yeah. Did you not hear my E40 joke? I mean, I, I promise, I'm on the right team. <laughs> Wasn't the men's warehouse guy a Zimmerman as well? Zimmer. Oh, Zimmer. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to like the way you look. Yeah. He guarantees it. Uh, uh, Robert Zimmerman, you know who that is? No. Uh, Was he part of the new uh, the bomb? 
No, uh, Rod, I like immediately. That's where it is. It must be a must be a terrorist or a murderer. Uh, Robert Zimmerman is Bob Dylan's real name. Ah, yeah. is it? Oh, mm-hmm. go ahead. I'll wait. <laughs> why? I'm you. just. Why the hell would he change it to Bob Dylan? Because that's his middle name. Zimmerman, uh, you don't really rock out to. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't get anyone to rock out. Nobody, nobody believes me. <laughs> Well, he's overrated, so he could choose any name. Yeah, yeah. He could pick whatever he wants. I'm just saying, I never get that comparison. <laughs> only, <laughs> only the George one. <laughs> All right, so uh, first question right out the gate. You did a roast ladder match? Uh, yeah, roast battle ladder match. Uh, that, was, that was an interesting show. That was one of the more interesting things I've ever done in comedy, to be honest. How does that work? Uh, not very well. <laughs> For you uh, or just in general? Well, the I, I think in concept, the idea was good, but like the night that it happened, just, it, okay, it was it was at a show at Tommy T's in Pleasanton called Heckle Mania, where like it was all crowd work show. Like the audience is encouraged to talk shit to the people on stage. So yeah. there's a couple of people that didn't get it and were like trying to do material. And then they were like flabbergasted that people were talking shit. And it's like, it's Heckle Mania. It's not just like a normal show, you know? And the, the big finale was supposed to be this roast battle ladder match. And there was like, you know, every time that a joke went well with the audience, you got to move up a ladder or up a rung, you know? So before long, it's like, the, the problem was it was that it happened in a night when it was already like heckle mania was already like people talking shit all night. So by the time that we finally got to go up, the, the audience was just burnt out on that shit. And uh, yeah, so that was one of the longer nights of my life uh, standing up on top of that ladder on uh yeah there you go so I, I was up on that ladder for a good like 20 minutes like up in the rafters of tommy t's like that <laughs> yes it lasted way it probably it probably wasn't as long as it felt but it felt like a good hour up there you know uh, shout out to jacob blazer yeah 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 that is just so fucking weird yeah i mean in concept it it's was a, a great cool idea, idea. But it just it needed to come on a night where it wasn't like they were just beating the audience over the head with like all the insults. You know what I mean? Oh. It'd be cool if like for a roast battle, like for that to be the the finale. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, uh, right place, right time, I guess I'll say. Well, I mean, according to that picture, it looks like you won. Yeah, I did. I definitely did. I uh, I won the URC heavyweight title for a while. <laughs> Uh, the ultimate roasting championship uh, league that they had going on in the Bay. I think they still might be trying to get that up and running. Uh, but yeah, there, there's also a couple others over in Sacramento. There's obviously the main ones with Jeffrey Ross and all that affiliation verbal, down in LA. Insults. Yes. Verbal insults. Josh means up in Sacramento. Yeah. He just got it moved over to punchline too. So his first show is going to be in July. That's rad. I wish nothing yeah. but the best for that dude. He's a great guy. Yes. All right. Have you gone up against uh, the great Josh? Are, you're in LA, right? I'm in like North County, San Diego. So like in between LA oh, and San okay. Diego right. right now. Uh, I have not gone up against Josh Means, but I've done several shows where he was also battling. So I know we have that in common. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, here's the question. Who do you think would win between the two of you? Ooh. I mean, obviously I'm going to think that I'm going to win every single match. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't, I should not be doing this. You know, uh, I will say the only times I've lost roast battles and I've lost several, I'll admit it. But, uh, the, the ones that I've lost have been to people way younger than me and to women. Like that's it. Like uh, nobody wants to see you punch down. And so that's a really hard balance you have to play when you're doing a roast battle. Like you have to be funny over mean. And sometimes just the source are like, Nope, too mean. Fuck that guy. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. the audience just turns against you and there's nothing you can do about it. So sometimes you just have to play the heel. Well, yeah, Danny D knows all about that from her roast battle. Excuse me? No, I'm just kidding. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. You kicked my fucking ass, bro. Kicked my fucking ass. Didn't he roast me? Yeah, it was that guy, right? Yeah. Who? Who did? Where, where, did you and I oh. go up against each other? No. What, no, what Steve. No. Oh, yeah, I kicked Steven's ass, but I went up against a guy named that from, like, Southern California. I thought it was you. No, uh, I remember meeting you at a verbal insult uh, night, and I went up against uh, what's that twelve-year-old kid's name keeps doing stand-up around there? 
<laughs> There's a lot of them. Dylan Collins. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. And yeah, the audience gets more puss than I. He gets every hot chick like imaginable. There were four hot chicks that come to his open mic from Chico last night. It's because all those girls have a fetish. They wanted to fuck Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle. They drove separately. <laughs> 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 oh by the way he listens so this is going to be Good. great seeing hey his i got nothing against him he beat me in a roast battle up there the audience totally turned on me and there's nothing i could do about it uh so i would like to rematch him at some point but uh, i got nothing against the kid but yeah he he beat me fair and square oh shit you hear that wow. dylan rematch i'll take it yeah game recognized game he's got some yeah. stuff man I yeah, he's pretty good at being. I think Danny froze. Yeah. Oh, she froze. Again. At least she froze. My like internet's in a... unstable like my life. I don't know what to tell you guys. Nice. <laughs> nice. I don't know what to tell you. Well, now you just look like a terrorist video. <laughs> so grainy. <laughs> <laughs> and so slow. <laughs> this Usually is coming to you live from a cave. Yeah, usually yeah. Rob's got the Daniel Pearl fucking audio and shit. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so um, I do want to talk about your nuptials. I see you went to Sedona. Is is there a specific reason you went to Arizona to get married? Well, have you ever been to Sedona in particular? Yeah. I mean, that's why. Fucking gorgeous. Yeah, it's amazing there. Uh, it's Part of it was that we just eloped. It was just the two of us. And uh, I'm from Colorado and she's from Southern California. And it was kind of a in the middle type of point. And it wasn't Vegas. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and so those they yeah. crossed a lot of things off the box. Also, it's fucking gorgeous there. It's a super cool town. And uh, we got to go up in the hot air balloon. Uh, we got some footage of a drone oh, really? up in the canyons and everything. Oh, like near the red rocks and all that stuff. Oh yeah. It's, it was a, it was an amazing, amazing elopement. I'm so stoked that I got to be a part of that. <laughs> what, what was the hot air balloon ride? Like, like I've always wanted to do that, but I just, uh, I don't know. So I, I've got a What's thing where like, I'm not afraid of heights. Like I'm afraid of the ground below and the distance between us. And sometimes yeah. my ankles will get like super weak. Cause I, for whatever reason, my body thinks I would land on my feet for whatever stupid reason. And like, no matter how many times <laughs> I tell my legs, it, just, it doesn't work that way. You know? So uh, the hot air balloon, right when it took yeah. off, I started feeling like, Oh, okay. That was a little, you know, making me a little nervous. But once we got up to altitude, we're good. Like 700 feet. Like it, it was, it was really cool. And the pilot we got was this dude from like, you know, the, the 1800s, like he helped invent the air balloon. And so he was a pretty <laughs> trustworthy pilot. Uh, it was really cool. Uh, we got to see, uh, you know, all the, it was just really cool to see all the hot air balloons with all the mountains in Sedona, all the rocks and everything. Cause it's just so beautiful out there. Uh, got to see some cows humping from an aerial view. That's gotta be a good sign, right? Like, Oh, that's great. Right. Yeah. So I was fine kids with will that. Be strong like bull. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I, I was How fine with landing? that, but I landing is really rough. It wasn't too bad. It was a little bumpy, but like we kind of expected it. But the guy that we had, the pilot was just awesome. I could see a, a worse pilot making it a much worse okay. experience, but I was fine with that height. I had no problem with that. And then we went to the Grand Canyon and that motherfucker is intimidating. Oh, Did you walk on the little clear uh, thing? No, it was still closed because of COVID. Oh, okay. But just being near that whole thing, just on the South Rim, like there's like like wind like pushing you into the canyon and there's a bunch of signs saying they rescue like a hundred people a year that's wow. like three, a person every yeah. three days like it really will take you and you can literally <laughs> see like a mile down into the earth like it's damn impressive if you've never gone i recommend it <laughs> yeah when i lived in arizona uh, i was in sixth grade and we uh took we went down half of it on donkeys for our sixth grade trip like that's where we went we stayed with like you know the indians and like a tc and and all yeah. that stuff um but it was terrifying walking down they were like no you want to trust a, a mule feet better than your own because they know the path and i'm like i don't trust a fucking animal <laughs> but yeah it was, it, was, it, was, it was pretty cool like i didn't have a choice we were stuck there but it was beautiful it was fucking great yeah i would like to have seen it from the bottom if i could like take the river path you know what i mean i'll, I'll do that yeah. part although that river is treacherous as hell in certain places like it's oh. that's like some five-star water rapids like it's it's impressive yeah. the whole thing's just impressive it's a spectacle 
Yeah, Rob, but, go there instead of fucking Titanic Museum. Yeah. But, <laughs> Titanic uh, Museum. Why the, what the hell would you do there? My eight-year-old kid is like OCD about uh, the fucking Titanic. He could tell you all sorts of shit about it. And I guess there's a museum in uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And I've got family in uh, Tennessee, so... But like, like, why? I don't know, but uh, I you know. You don't even like your kid. I love my kid. I just don't like him at the no, moment. Okay. I wouldn't but, like him either. He'd make me go to fucking Tennessee. No, like I said, I got family out there that I haven't seen in a while. But also what's in Pigeon Forge is Dollywood. And I'm like, oh, maybe we could white trash it up and okay. do the whole thing. Because we did last time we went there, we went to yeah uh fucking graceland which jesus oh, yeah? christ How what a that? fucking dump <laughs> <laughs> it's like what a it's dump. like i get it nice nice uh, nice elvis pun <laughs> <laughs> What uh, yeah, nice. Uh, it's still preserved, but uh, I bet it's a whole solid piece in Saran wrap. No, it's like if your grandma's house from the seventies was just preserved, like it was. It's just it's like a nice house, but you know, for the seventies. But right now, it'd be like I don't know. It uh, definitely not worth Love all the that. Hype. Okay, all right, good to know. I, I would recommend Branson, Missouri, if you have a chance. It's right along those lines as well. <laughs> what, oh, yeah. What's in Branson? Uh, Yakov Smirnov. It's like. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. There's, it's like, it's like Is he a teaching really, there. No, he's doing. He's, he'll do shows there still. It's like uh, it's like Reno, but like in the middle of Missouri. Like it's it's like it feels like a uh, old Matt. West Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> old west chuck e cheese with meth yeah that's missouri lovely the whole yeah. thing. <laughs> so when you were in sedona did you go to talaki packy yeah yeah i got a uh really nice uh painting there while we were in there it's a pretty cool little spot nice. what is talaki packy it's, it's like a like an artist collective do you have you guys seen the movie twins yeah a long, long time, time ago, ago. Oh, uh, well, maybe you'll get this reference, but the mom lives in like an art commune. Mm, okay. It's pretty much like that. Yeah. Oh, those it. old movies just like had such an unrealistic standard of like how much you could make a, in a living for doing something like that. Like, <laughs> how is she yeah. alive? Like, <laughs> people have to survive. Like, I don't know how the fuck they live like that. I just watched, uh, uh, what is that movie? So I Married an Axe Murderer. That's a great Oh my movie. God, I watched that the other day. It's a great movie. He's a fucking poet for a living. Like, yeah. how do you live in San Francisco? Yeah, with 30 people in one bedroom. That's how and we know his parents. We meet his parents in the movie. They're not loaded. Like, how the fuck did he do that? Like, <laughs> they're Scottish. They're cheap. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he... How the hell did they pull that off? I'm uh, impressed. in the tenderloin. <laughs> that's, oh. that's part that they don't tell you. <laughs> right. I never even thought of that. I just. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Sorry, there's kids running back there behind me. Ah. Oh, I we were about to kid. blame Danny. Yeah, you could, no, totally could have blown my... it off and said it was her. Oh, oh. She did it. Oh, burp. she's walking away from the house and the Wi-Fi signal. Yep, girl. she did it. <laughs> she's walking too far from the neighbor's house. She can't pick up their Wi-Fi anymore. I'm gonna go sit in the fucking <laughs> pool. Which <laughs> she's done. Remember, she did that at Joey C's. She was like, "I'll be back," and then just went uh, and swam yeah. in the pool for a bit, and then came back to the fucking Dripping podcast. Wet. That's right. That was hilarious. Uh, nice joy. Yeah. Oh. The hell? That's a good freeze frame. That's like in loving memory of. <laughs> <laughs> that one's better. Than the yeah. mouthful. There you, you go. We're 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 saying all good things. We have to posthumously. <laughs> <laughs> You know what we should do is like have like I don't know have like traveling mu- traveling music when uh, she walks around. No, we should do it live. Dun, 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 dun. I'm hoping to do it live. I'm still in talks with the studio, but I don't think all of us want to go to Sacramento. Why not? Because we have fucking lives. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, have you ever been to Sacramento? <laughs> I fucking live here now. <laughs> But also, I got to work out the money for the studio, so we got to figure that out. But if Danny D's open mic goes long, then we can uh, just record at the bar. On those wow. coattails. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> that, that was a fucking no. <laughs> well, 
Well, that's a hard coming, maybe. You're not coming out to support me, so I don't know if I'm gonna let you ride my coco. Well, I don't know where Orange Val is. You don't know where? Orange, fuck you! I didn't make the flyer. <laughs> <laughs> Good quality control. Yeah, shit so, like that. So Zach, just hey. so you know, I didn't notice this, but Rob is very anal, and he I mess- noticed it. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. I noticed it, and I was like, "Fuck it! I don't give a shit. I don't care." So the flyer, instead of saying Orange Vale, California, says Orange Val. California. It's missing the E because it didn't fit in the little text box, but I don't care. They know where it is. They know where it is. <laughs> they know where it is. I know what you mean, though. You're like, come on, guys. I had a friend yeah. who spelt his name wrong on a test one time because he dropped he, his last name was Washington and he, he forgot the N. Nice. Washington. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's your own name. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, so you live in LA area? I live in like uh, North County, San Diego. So like in between kind of like Oceanside Carlsbad. Yeah, so like, like, yeah, yeah. I can reach LA. I can reach San Diego. I can reach Tijuana if I wanted to. Do you know Have Chip you? Nicholson? Not yet. Who? Chip Nicholson? Yes. Yes, I do know Chip Nicholson. He's a good dude. I love that guy. I love that guy. That guy's great. Yeah, he's, he's funny as hell. I uh, met him a couple shows back, and then, yeah, we've corresponded a little bit. I plan on going up there in the next couple of weeks. I've just been hitting the scene as hard as I can. It's finally, like, back open. Like, Yeah. You know, so – and also having to start over again. Like, I started in Denver originally, and then I did, like, two or three years out there, but I was still going to film school, so I was, like, doing acting and that kind of stuff. Um, and then I moved to the Bay, and then I was there for, like, five years and just okay. did as much stand-up as I could. And then uh, during the pen, like, I was getting to the point where I'm starting to headline gigs, and, like, getting, like, 30-minute spots, and it's like, finally, I've earned this time, you know? And then the, the, the like, pandemic hit and took away all that. April last year was supposed to be hot for me. And then yeah. uh, all that went away, and then I had to move. And so I've had to, like, start from the bottom of the ladder again. Seems to be a running theme in my life. <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, like it's it's great to be the new kid and just like actually have the test material down. You know what I mean? Like I know my shit. Yeah. Like it's that's not an issue. It's just about like earning that stage time again. And so this is the fun part. So what are you what, doing? Your comedy in L.A. or San Diego or both? Wherever they'll take me. Where, uh, a little bit of both. Wherever comedy will take you, that's where you do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <sighs> So what? Oh, <laughs> she just walks she goes away. to the pool. <laughs> I left, I left whoa, whoa, whoa. I left my fucking alcohol. Uh, Calm it down. You don't need that. I mean, we yeah, wouldn't, I it, it wouldn't have bothered me. We just would have heard the sloshing from the water in your microphone. <laughs> Boy, Danny D is not having it. What's wrong, Danny? It's I'm me, mad at you. <laughs> no, I'm not mad at Zach. Zach, sweet. Uh, Jackie Pearl and I are like best friends, and she uh, speaks very highly of you, and she likes he loves you to death. So. I can't say enough good things about Jackie Pearl. When they, when they came yeah. down to visit, we got to go to Torrey Pines, uh, which is like yeah. there's the golf course there, but right next to it is like a a uh, like a nature path type of thing. And then right down below that is like there's these crazy sandstone cliffs that are like a good like 200 feet up. And then below that, at some point, is a nude beach. There's all kinds of fun stuff down there. <laughs> Fortunately, most people at nude beaches are look like me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not people yeah. you want to see. No, so, and that's also like you know, no disrespect to Jackie Pearl, but I'm like, do I want to go to a nude beach with Jimmy Moniz, <laughs> Jacob Blazer, and Jackie Pearl? <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. I imagine Jacob, since he's like the skinny nerdy type, I imagine he's packing a hog, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the skinny up. nerdy ones that are just he, packing heat. He used to be like 300 pounds. He used to be like 300 pounds. Seriously. Wow. Yeah, seriously. He used to be 300 shit. pounds. And he didn't have a surgery or anything like that. He just worked out and changed his diet. And now he's all skinny. Good for him. File yeah. a missing persons report. That's like two thirds right? of his mass right now. Right? <laughs> Fuck. I was like, what? You used to be fat? God damn it. So I'm not just big bone? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's like, no, you can do it. You're like, shut up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shut your fucking mouth. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's one of those guys that are just gifted genetically. He just treated it like shit for 10 years and then decided, okay, I'll just go right now. I'll turn well, on the juice. Got, like, amazing time management skills, too. If you look at how many fucking mics he hits up in like a day and you're like, holy shit. Like, how and all you over the place, too. Your... And he works full time. And it's like, how the fuck? Andy doesn't have a car. <laughs> he doesn't have a car anymore? 
<laughs> no, it's like, how the hell are you pulling this off? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was just in town last week. We got to go to the San Diego Zoo a couple of days ago. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy's a good yeah. dude. <laughs> Yeah. Is that is that zoo as amazing as everybody makes it out to be? It's fucking rad. Like as far as all as far as zoos go, like yeah, it's pretty good. And again, I come from Denver. I've been to several different zoos in the Midwest, and some of those places, like particularly Omaha, Nebraska, like they have nothing else going on other than like the Little League World Series, like two weeks out of the year. There's nothing going on there. They have a spectacular zoo. Uh, same with St. Louis. So they're like two and three behind uh, San Diego. But honestly, yeah, oh. it's it's rad. I got the season pass and I'm like, I'll go there and I'll, or I'll go to the uh, Safari Park in Escondido uh, oh, fairly often. Dope. Like it's it's legit. It's a good zoo. Mm-hmm. That's cool. You ever yeah. been, Nick? No. I went to a zoo in Anchorage and uh, I think they had like three animals. <laughs> and I think a chicken was one of them. But they also had a polar bear named Binky. And I remember they had all these bumper stickers that said, save Binky. And apparently some dipshit jumped the fence to go pet Binky and Binky ripped his legs apart. Good. Yeah. Oh, he got harambe Yeah. But oh. the guy was a fucking idiot. But no, yeah. They, yeah. Binky. Usually that's the case. It's usually someone correctly. stupid. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, you don't clap. Uh, no. Yeah, well, I was thinking like, I've heard there's a lot of people talking, you know, about how like, zoos are like too much like an animal prison but like they got it pretty good like at least they get to be in their natural habitat like that's imagine if we treated prison more like zoos and like charge people to come and see the really dangerous ones you know and, oh and my at least God. They get, you can try- but that's the trade-off is they get to be in their natural habitat sharon is here sharon i don't know i i Zach. have some thoughts on that <laughs> how's it going I think it's work. I think I think that's a good uh, business venture. If we're going to privatize prisons, let's charge money for people to come and check them out. <laughs> yeah, do a scared, like bring could, scared you know. straight back. Yeah, it's just scared straight, but you can charge tickets for it. You know, mm-hmm. it'd be just well, like Jurassic pocket. Park. People just want to see the dangerous animals up close. I think we should just <laughs> throw them all on Alcatraz, the super bad ones, and just let them like like throw in a box of MREs and then let them fight. Check this them. out: UFC on like an oil tanker in open waters fight to the death oh yeah yeah i know yeah just a, like, like if you're on death row of bum fights yeah if you're on death row you can fight for your right to not die but you have to yeah. do it live on pay-per-view that's dope escape what? from new york style i was gonna say i think they made a movie called death race about that. yes it's exactly the same <laughs> yeah, thing but yeah. but fighting instead of racing sean <laughs> yeah. are I you know all- are you oh. here now hear me or no okay Barely. now we can yes Okay, can? sorry, sorry, Danny. Yeah, we can. I was just gonna say, I know a, a UFC Hall of Famer that wouldn't mind like coaching, you know, some of the prisoners if they needed it. Uh, I'm he, saying, you know, yeah. yeah. When you're done ass raping that guy, come here and give me fifty. <laughs> 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 Poor Harambe. He, oh, God damn him. What that gorilla that didn't fucking kill the kid that he should have because they ended up getting killed anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he should have ripped that kid apart. Why? He should have. Uh, because well, he was protecting the kid. He didn't do anything wrong. I know. They shouldn't have hurt the... Fucked up. Up. <sighs> shouldn't have hurt him. Shouldn't have done it. Punishment didn't fit the crime. The they I don't think... The parents in there. Looking at his face, I don't think Sharon knows who Harambe is. Yeah, I, am, I am looking around going, I don't know what I walked into, but someone's dying. <laughs> you don't know the story of the great Harambe? No. <gasps> I might. Eight years ago, no, he five does. years ago, he just didn't know his name. Right, the gr- the, was, fi- the five year old that fell into the gorilla enclosure, and then the gorilla came up and was like holding the baby, oh, and then okay. they ended up shooting him. Oh, they shot him! Mm. Yeah, oh, the yeah, gorilla. yeah, they killed it. They killed the well, gorilla. I, I the thought. Kid. I'm not, well, no, I heard. I I heard about the kid falling, and then the the, ch- the gorilla actually nursed it and protected it. But I didn't know they yeah. shot him. I didn't know yeah, they, they, shot shot the, they shot the gorilla. Even Did you only read the headline? <laughs> like they cut that part off? No. Well, <laughs> I was in like... the news. They only show so much. And then next, you know, they're like, oh, they didn't want you to have to pay $1.95 to finish the article. I understand. <laughs> finish, finish the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Where was Marlon Perkins with the fucking tranquilizer dart? You guys are all fucking too. I was about to know Marlon Perkins. Perkins. God damn it. Mutual of Omaha's uh, Wild grandpa? Kingdom. There's this old guy that looked like Colonel Sanders that would go out mm. like and riding in a helicopter. And uh, he was like probably in his 80s at the time, but he would have like this young crew and like 
they'd always just tranquil, you know, be in a helicopter, dart like a wildebeest and go down there. And then like the young guy would have to fight off a lion and all this bullshit. And he's, it was a great show. I feel, like, okay. I feel like I would watch the shit out of that. Yeah, it was I a would great too. show. And it was mutual of Omaha's wild. We're going to trank dart a yak and this guy's going to fight him live. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> we took they this make kid you... out of urban New York and he's just going to fucking fight this tiger now. Oh, so like, what the <laughs> They had something similar to that on uh, uh, Discovery Channel a while back, a couple of years ago. This guy was going to get swallowed whole by an anaconda I live on television. Oh, no. You that. remember how fucking terrible that was? Oh, my no. God. Like, all that build up for nothing, and this guy ended up not being able to handle it. Like, they ended up having to go th- catch two separate snakes because the first one wasn't big enough, and the second one was even smaller, and he got all mad at everyone. And he's like, all right, fuck it. I'm just going to do it on my own. No. Hold up, hold up. Is he going to have like an oxygen tank or something? So, so you? he had, check it out. So he had, he had a uh, hazmat suit underneath the very bottom to protect from the acid of the snake's stomach, right? Stomach, yeah. okay. Then he had chain mail on over that uh, to protect from the bite of the teeth, right? Okay. Then he had a crush proof box on outside yeah. of that with like this oh. fucking welding helmet and like, like, and it's like in this like cord attached to the back of his head and like, Connected to these computers look like Cyrax from Mortal Kombat. The so, snake so they can, is not going to eat that. No, exactly. And like the snake was not hungry for it at all. The snake yeah, just was no. not having it. And That's finally, not- like, he's like, I can't move with these things. Or, like, I got to move my arms and my legs. They're like, you're going to break your arm if you take those off. And he's like, I don't care. It's for science. And he takes them off. You're and then the, an idiot. finally the snake latches onto his face and then they cut to commercial after like a good hour and 45 <laughs> minutes into this fucking uh, thing. I'm like, stop me if I'm wrong here. <laughs> and, then, and then he was, he was immediately like, they, 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 they never show what happened with the snake. They just show him like they cut back from commercial and him taking the helmet off. Like, I thought I was going to die. Oh my God. And like the whole time on the bottom of the, there's like, call this number at the bottom of your screen to help save anacondas in the wild it's like i think you're the one that's endangering them like you're the only because there's only one way out of a fucking snake that big like they have to cut you out like even if it's successful he's done yes yes thank you oh wow i feel like i described it pretty well yeah yeah Yeah, when you you nailed it with noob cybot i was like he's oh yeah got it yeah (laughs) (laughs) but he is noob cybot because he's black (laughs) <laughs> but yeah that's that's what he wore and the snake just got to the head part and then he just on the camera out. like cat and then cut to commercial and then yeah fog now tapped out like a little bitch he did tap out like a bitch and immediately too like no hesitation and i know this and that, was his idea yeah 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 and what the, an thi- idiot. the thing that sucked is uh zach nailed it it was a month of nothing but commercials about a guy that's about to be swallowed by a snake while he's alive. Swallowed they, by an anaconda. They Lies amped it on up Discovery. so much. Oh my God. It's like when Geraldo Rivera was going to open up uh, Scarface. Al, yeah, uh, or, yeah. Al Capone. Al Capone. Safe and it was empty. Yeah. 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 It's like, yeah. ah, shit. Like, like that I other remember. thing on the Discovery Channel where they're like, this guy's going to walk the Grand Canyon on a pole or on a, on a tightrope live on Discovery Channel. And then it was like him just like inching closer, like, like literally like inching. And it was like three hours. And they're like, he's almost in. He's three and a half hours in. We are so excited. And like, no one fucking else is. Like, <laughs> they, yeah, no. they, they could have fast remember. forwarded that and give me the highlight on youtube was that that was the same guy that would like every step he was like thank you jesus i'm with you jesus no, was it that guy probably and he like had like a pole with him it was like yeah. had bibles stacked on either side of it to keep it balanced oh my God. Bibles. <laughs> no, a, i'll the cut fuck that out cord. of here i really wish you would have fell you know <laughs> that's the shit i would watch i know like, there's a type of death that's why we were watching. Nobody wants to watch for this guy to be successful. That's the most yeah. boring shit you've ever watched on television. That's why I'll watch it after he falls, and then I'll just watch the highlights of it. Yeah, we want to watch him fall. We're like watching we stopped watching the- Fast. Yeah. Everyone, you'll watch. You'll watch something if you think somebody might die. Like that's just how yeah. it is. Like we we stopped watch watching Fast and the Furious movies, and then Paul Walker died, and they're like, oh, someone might die in this new Fast and the Furious <laughs> movie. We gotta go see it, <laughs> right? Well, again, the old guy, but fucking when Evil Knievel jumped across, what was it, Caesars yeah. and busted yep. his yeah. ass up. 
Yeah. I mean, fuck, how do you not watch after that? <laughs> Why is that not the halftime show? Like, I don't give a fuck about Beyonce doing her yeah. fucking 13th halftime yeah. show. I want to see Travis Pastrana jump the fucking Cowboys stadium on a fucking, you know, four wheeler or whatever. Like that is a halftime show. Actually, you don't want to see that. You sure. want to see him not make it. Right. Well, if he makes it, that's still more of a spectacle. You know sure. what I mean? Like CeeLo Green can be there, but he has to fight a bear. Like, let's do let's do something different for these halftime shows. That's all I'm saying. I think so stunts are a you, good way to do that. So you say you want CeeLo Green to fight a bear after going, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He, he, doesn't have to, he doesn't have to sing while he's fighting the bear. That's fine. I see it only brought me here so I could fight a bear. And I'm like... Or like... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Miley the, uh, Cyrus fucking KY jelly fighting a gator. Like, let's go. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh there it goes. Yeah, oh, 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 uh, oh, oh, look at those limbs. Jelly just, leg. Yep. They don't bend that way. Uh, I run a page on um, Facebook called All Ball and Some Shtick, and it's literally just videos of people trying sports and getting fucked up. Like, <laughs> it's one of the favorite things I've ever oh, done. I'll check that out. <laughs> Highly recommend it if you like watching people get hurt on their own accord. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I get, I mean, some of my searches get a little dark. Like recently I looked up bad base jumping and it, oh boy. I can't do that. <laughs> well, I, like we just talked about the Grand Canyon. I can't talk. I can't do that shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, like Did I didn't know one of them there? was going to die. Huh? I said I didn't know one of them was gonna die. Like I thought they just hit a rock and tumble. No, that's <laughs> a face of death. It's implied. <laughs> what did you say, Rob? What were you gonna say? Oh, did you see people base jumping off the canyon? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I that I was just the whole time just wishing I had a parachute, like just to be near that fucking thing. Yeah. Just yeah. in case. Like, I'm not trying to jump in with a parachute, but if I, like, fell in and had a parachute, like, I'd feel a little better about it. Carry one of those squirrel suits, like, put a squirrel suit on oh, and just fucking no. fly. <laughs> yeah. My I life. had a dream I did that shit one time. <laughs> <laughs> My luck, I'd, like, I'd be like Homer Simpson when he tried to jump the canyon on a skateboard. I, that one. <laughs> I would just hit a rock every single fucking time. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> and get picked up by the helicopter and fall out of it and hit every rock on the way again. <laughs> Oh, God, I love it. We know Simpsons that will reference. never happen to Nick. Nick doesn't go outside besides for work. So, you know, that Jeez. will never happen. A little bitter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a little sad. Oh, hey, I shared from your wife. You're getting it from me. I shared that shit <laughs> on uh, Twitter. So. All right. Thanks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sharon, are you going to go to her open mic? Uh, When? Tomorrow. 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 We're at Union. Orange, Orange Val. Val. I'll send you the oh. play. It's cool. I don't know. I, I'm going. So now I, I'm going. I only want Nick. He's like, I don't know where the fuck that is. I can't go. I, no, I don't. <laughs> and I was, I was going to say tonight I'm going to go to the the, the sesh. I'm going to go to a wee sesh show. Oh, that's better. You won't nice. see me tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, a what? A weed oh. session. Yes. So you're going to go smoke weed? So, well, I'm not going to go smoke weed. I got Auntie Bai's going to smoke weed. I'm going to go get edibles. Why is, it, it. why is it called a weed session? Why isn't it just called hanging because out? Because that's what hanging out is. I thought, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's you have to clarify with your friends. They're like, we're not friends. We're, we're not hanging out. We're here to smoke weed. No, these are actually places where think about the farmer's market, but they only sell yeah. weed. Okay. I go to them they all the sell. time. I know I'm, well, I'm telling these guys, the, the pot farmers market. <laughs> yes, the farm market, and yeah, yeah. they sell. Did you, do you do you find them on farmers only? <laughs> I wish <laughs> farmers wise. Is that how you're not? Is that how you're not lonely anymore? Uh, no, <laughs> I actually, I actually is trying to be a DJ for them and stuff. Trying to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd oh, be yeah. really cool. Instead oh, of yeah. a food truck night, they should do a weed truck night. They probably have. Just look for the big cloud. Yeah, I remember, I remember they did a Star Wars night, so I was like, okay, they'll do anything. Yeah, anything to make some money. Oh, there you go. We would have in Denver. They had like uh, they'd have like a like a, a 
a pub crawl, but it was like all bikes. Oh, and every yes. month they would like, you have to dress up in whatever theme. And sometimes it'd be like road yeah. warrior. Sometimes it'd be like Batman villain. Sometimes it'd be like, yeah, like there's all kinds of different stuff. It was, it was rad. And so same thing, but with weed, I'm into that. Cause I don't really drink that much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm a smoker for sure. So why'd you, why'd you come out here from Denver? Me? Yeah. So I can help you guys legalize too. Obviously. <laughs> there you go. I mean, that is true. You went to the Bay and the Bay has now legalized mushrooms. So, I mean, you're, you're obviously bringing something next week, San Diego. That's what I'm what? saying. And, and they, they need it down here. It's, it's, it's uh, a lot more red down here uh, to say the least. Uh, but it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, uh, it, to, to when I went there, uh, I don't know, like right at the time when I was leaving Colorado, it was like one of those times in your life where it's like, I was working for a radio station and uh it folded and it was like what am i gonna do and i really wasn't sure where things were going i had just finished school and it was like i I gotta do something otherwise i'm just gonna get trapped here you know like everyone else i know and uh right around that time a friend who was living in the bay uh hit me up and was like hey i need uh, someone to come out and help me pay the bills i'm like i will be there in a week and fucking (laughs) sold everything I owned and fucking headed to the Bay and just started over. And, uh, honestly, I bet on myself and it was one of the most rewarding experiences I've ever been through. And it was not easy. And every bit of it has felt earned. And, and I've learned a lot about myself as a result. And I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that I took the jump when I did. I I have a question for you. Are you pretty tight with Joe Gorman then? No, uh, I've, oh, okay. I've done his podcast a couple times. I mean, we've, we've done a couple shows together when he was still living in, uh, the Bay, the Bay. Okay. but, uh, I mean, I, I know him, but I wouldn't that's, exactly say we're like, that's, I, that's what I, that's what I meant. Like, so I'm a, uh, he, I hooked him up with my girl, um, Abigail. And so I'm going to go to New York and, uh, meet him for the first time. So I'm pretty excited. Cool. Yeah. He's, he's a lot of fun. Uh, very high energy. So yeah. be prepared for that. You're like, you need, you need a couple bumps just to keep up with the guy. And like, he won't oh, have all right. any, all right. he's just that high energy. That's just who he is. Oh. He's, he's, he's got, he's got a little bit of that, uh, Sam Kinison streak. Oh, in him. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah. yeah. He's a good dude though. Okay. I'm over here politicking, trying not to talk too much shit. <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> And yeah, uh, it's funny that you mentioned it's red uh, when Trump was president. I loved the videos that came out of San Diego County because boy, oh boy, (laughs) Trump flags and Antifa just going at it. Oh, that was the best part of Twitter. Dude, there is still a like table down the road at the gas station that is still selling don't tread on me and fucking Trump flags and shit. Still. There's one in Orangeville. Yeah, where I'm hosting my podcast, it's in that parking lot. Or yeah, I know. My fucking uh, mic, it's in that parking lot. It's in Orangeville. In that wow. parking lot. There's a big, like, Trump, like, fucking, like, support Trump. And I'm like, why is this still here? What's going on? Because f- people are stupid enough you to should set up, You shit. should set up one of those one of those weed meetings. <laughs> 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 in that same place. Just t- Take it from me, Native American. Just go fucking smoke them out. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. I'll take your advice. I'll go do that. There's one thing I learned about that crew. They hate weed. <laughs> really? I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, because they're, they're all, they're the all good Christian people. It's the gateway drug. You and they have stock in Coors, and they can't be having people smoking weed. I was about to say, I think it's hilarious that they're like, oh, weed's the devil, yet they will get hammered on some fucking Coors Light. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some, some natty ice. Oh, yeah. don't be smirched, yeah. natty ice. I love Don't that. you talk shit about Natty Ice? <laughs> when I was drinking, man, an 18 pack for nine bucks. Oh, that was heaven. <laughs> so, uh, a little inside baseball. Uh, I grew up in Arvada, Colorado, which is like to the west, due west of Denver, pretty much. And just to the south of us is Golden. And then to the south of that is Morrison, where they have Red Rocks, the, the restaurant, or the restaurant, the community college. Fuck, what is wrong with me? There's Red Rocks Community College down there, but they have the Red Rocks Amphitheater, like the concert venue. And it's like world-renowned, one-of-a-kind Morrison. But the town up is Golden, and that's where they brew Coors, like the original Coors Brewery. And we would piss in that river that became Coors on a regular basis. So it really is Rocky Mountain piss water. 
cards. I don't like yours, cards. but I'm I'm just saying. I don't there's a reason. Why. You shouldn't. It's like it's like the, we've been playing pranks like that on people for a long time. You ever heard of Rocky Mountain oysters? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, that could not have been a real dish. That had to have been a prank. And then someone's like, "No, I like it. No, it's no, it's good. I like right. it." It's, I, I, yeah. I know too many people that love that stuff. I'm just yeah, like, it's really? fucking weird. They have really? in Montana. Uh, they have a place called Testy Fest, and they have a yes. it's like a it's like a weed meeting, but for people who eat balls. I missed the one up in Calgary by and it's like primarily a week. men, I bet you. It's primarily fucking men, I bet you. Sure. It's probably just leftovers from Sturgis, to be honest. <laughs> Damn. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. I need to eat them. I mean, I'd give oh, them yeah. a shot. They're supposed you could, to be good. If you go to a Rockies game in Coors Field, you can order them. Really? Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't eat. I don't eat gross things. That's okay. No, I don't eat regular oysters, let alone fucking Rocky Mountain ones. Yeah, no, I shouldn't. <laughs> I don't eat oysters because I, I don't know where they come from. But I eat. Yeah. I don't eat Rocky Mountain oysters because I know where they come from. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've been arguing that uh, you know that show Chopped. Yes, they should yeah. do a ball episode, like make. Um, like make the first like the appetizer course uh, lamb fries, which is la- you know sheep balls. Yeah, yeah. Then make the main course uh, Rocky Mountain oysters and make the dessert because they they've had all these oh, yeah. things on there. Yeah, uh, duck testicles. Yes, I and, which I didn't know they had those, but okay, great. Uh, have so you ever they should just duck, have a ball uh, episode. Penis? They're the weirdest oh, yeah. looking. It's all corkscrewy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Salty. Well, well you, you ever seen Ducktales? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, you gotcha. Um, does they, anybody uh, have anything else before we move on to our random topics? Go ahead. Um, I'm, are, this already has been random topics. How is that any different? Ah, well, no, he wanted to talk about testicles. That's that's what we that was on the here, agenda. So. Okay, that wasn't random. That was by design. Was, no. My mistake. Yeah. I apologize. That's just good improv. Then okay, we'll keep it going. I mean, you make yeah, a valid point because it's not really a random topic because I researched it. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems random to everyone else. Yeah, yeah. it's it's funny. To, well, I mean, you're a funny. control freak. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we get into it, though. Um, Oh, and we have a comic, so we got to do the comic studio. Holy shit. It's been so <laughs> long since we've done that. Like somebody said the word of the day. Well, because yeah. we've had podcasts on for the last month, so I haven't done it. So now it is time for Inside the Comic Studio. Brilliant. Yes. Hey. But <laughs> shut the fuck up, Rob. Hey. <laughs> I like is- it. I like it. This is the most famous thing in fucking Iraq, apparently. <laughs> wow. I bet you it's not. I bet you it's not. <laughs> well, maybe it's um, Zimbabwe. For some reason, we're getting a lot of downloads in Zimbabwe. It's a little oh, weird. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. What do we got? I don't know what you want to do with that information, but I mean, you know take it uh, before we get into it though zach plug your social media plug any shows you got coming up any podcasts stuff like that all right um i don't have a podcast going at the moment uh that will change soon um i am currently in facebook prison so don't find me there uh yeah that's a whole other fucking seminar let me tell you um <laughs> Uh, you can find me at on Instagram at letter R letter U Prozac R U Prozac, which is the uh, hashtag I will use when I run for office. And uh, that was my Twitter, but that got taken away as well. I, I am just not good at social media, apparently. But I'm Zach Z, and I know it on Twitter. I am and Zach Z. <laughs> Zach Z, I and it. I know it. <laughs> That's good. All right. What yeah. do you? I just have to ask. You had a Twitter and it got taken away from you. Well, that one I just got locked out of the account with my. Oh, okay. I, I had to change my email and it, it locked yeah. me out and I had to start over. Yeah, it's very hard to get your old Twitter back. I found out. Yeah, I follow my old Twitter so I can see what I posted <laughs> and be like, I used to be so funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's as far as it goes. All righty. Um, uh, Sharon. You can catch me on Iambic Poetry Podcast, and also you can catch me producing Off the Change with my co-host, um, Steph Sanders and Christy Nong. Right now, Steph Sanders is getting ready to do uh, an actual comedy show on the June 6th over at the Laugh, over at the Laugh Olympics Unlimited. Check it. 
Nice. Laugh Olympics. Laugh Olympics, I said. Uh-huh. I, 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 I caught myself. I like the idea of a Laugh Olympics, though. Mm-hmm. There is a Laugh Olympics. But do they have to do a bunch yeah, of different like types of comedy, like improv and roast battles? And like I, you have to test all your metal? No, I think they I think they kind of got oh, a sectioned yeah. off and stuff like um, like situation comedy, issue comedy, stand up and then also prop and sketch. So I, I know they do that. So like stay in your I like lane. Idea better. I'm interested in the decathlon. I want to see what I got. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> All right, uh, Robert. Uh, get my project uh, stand up dad's podcast. I do that with my buddy, Mike. We talk about parenting and throwing some dick jokes. I have no idea what we're going to talk about, but new episodes come out every Sunday. Yes. And uh, Mike's daughter is fucking ruthless. Yes, she is. Really? Yeah. Why this, do you say that? On this last one, um, she came in the room for something and Mike said, no, you can't have this or something. And you just hear her say, your girlfriend hates you. <laughs> she's like 10. Yeah, she, she's like 10 or 11. Yeah, that's the worst age a girl could be. Um, and uh, yeah, you're dating girls that are only like a couple years older than your daughter. That's disgusting. That's no true. wonder she's going to talk to her. 19 years older than his daughter. That doesn't matter. She's barely I there. feel like that's enough of an age difference. Yeah. Okay, she's but old enough to have given birth to her legally. To, this is the first oh, time I know he's she's dated not. a young girl. What? Or I'm sorry, an older woman. This is the first time he's dated someone his own age, right? No, she's oh. nineteen younger, nineteen years younger than him. And how old is she? Twenty nine. And her kid. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. So whatever. she's right in the middle. Nineteen, both no, ways. I think it's funny so how like there's certain standards like can go one way and not the other way. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's no, not going to be for it. Your kids are going to be assholes to you no matter what relationship you're in if it's not with their parents. But it's just they're, they're going to. No, your kids are going to be assholes to you. And you, that uh, sentence ends that's, there. Yeah, that's, that's part, part of leaving process. the nest. Yeah. I think that's part of the process. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. yeah. Because they're never going to leave if they're best friends. Like, why the hell would they? Uh, you got to kick them out. Yeah, well, uh, that's, there's an inciting incident usually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or you do like Danny and just keep moving around so they can't find a, a way to stay yeah. with her. Don't give me your address. Just take them out and then don't give me your address. Is mom here? here? No, she hasn't been here in just weeks. Travel for comedy and just be like, That's how it was when you're like, wake up, we're moving. And then, yeah, you have to change your life. I know those days. Yeah. Stay yeah. asleep, yeah. I'm moving. Uh, yeah. Stay asleep, I left them. I'm sorry. If you're reading this, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, uh, Danny, what do you got? Uh, you know, if tomorrow goes well, you can check me out every Wednesday at the Blarney Stone in Orangevale. Uh, that would be awesome. It's the first time I've done comedy for a couple of years. I've never tried to host a venue or do anything. It's not just an open mic, though. It's a comedy competition because I don't want just everyone on it. I want the best of the best. Uh, and also, you can check me out uh, June 24th in Chico for Dylan Collins' show, uh, Unwinded Comedy. And I'm on a Punchline show June 17th, I want to say. Uh, but anyways, you can check out my fucking Facebook or Instagram. I don't Twitter really, so check those out. Uh, Nick will do his job and put all the links where he needs to. I've got yep. shows too coming up, but find that on my Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Follow me on Twitter at the Big Nick J. It is popping. We are offending people left and right over there. Okay, so Zach, have you? What's that? Merch. Oh, our sticker. That's right. We got merch. Completely fucking forgot about that. Uh, click the link. It's T Public. We got five different things. You could you could also get Stand Up Dads merch there if you wanted to. Uh, if you're listening in Britain, two people have bought shirts, so you may. I mean, I hear Britain's a small island, so you'll probably run into somebody with it, right? Is that tiny? Oh, can I add my link for my merch on there? What merch do you, you have, have? Merch. I sell socks one at a time, you know, with my face on them, and then I have shirts too. Yeah, no. One at a time. Yeah. Uh, well, but you only jerk because... off with one sock at a time. Yeah, you can't even go. buy the pair. <laughs> nope. Got to buy two pairs. It's it would be ironic if they said nice pair on them. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> There's only one sock. <laughs> 
maybe I'll be re, uh, you know, doing new. I'm here just to help year. sell merch. That's it. Let's move this shit. Right? Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> but yes, Danny, I didn't know you had merch. So, um, send me the link or I could just put that merch with our stuff. Okay. And where do we get, where will we be able to get our merch or they'll be able to get our merch? Your mama's house. At T public. T public. Yeah. Just search. Actually don't search gag on this. Cause apparently a lot of things have to deal with gagging. Yeah. Ooh, um, <laughs> shocker. I know. Um, just click the link. It goes just, right to our storefront. Yeah, I just really like BJ's. I was like, fuck yeah. Gag on this. I'll, I'll do this podcast. <laughs> not quite what I expected, but it's still fun. You know, I wouldn't yeah. got to that part yet. <laughs> <laughs> still coming um, to it <laughs> and then next week uh danny are we having your friend on next week uh frank castillo yeah uh yeah yeah we are We're, we are having him okay next week we got frank castillo so that will be exciting all right so zach have you listened to the podcast before i have not i have not done my homework i apologize perfect it's okay that's how a lot of people come so you're you are the norm so basically inside the comic studio we ask all comedians the same five questions first question is first joke that landed well uh it was the i said uh gary coleman died of a brain hemorrhage does that qualify as a different stroke Oh, (laughs) (laughs) good ouch and yeah that uh that launched my career. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next question. Favorite thing about your local comedy scene? Uh, that I feel like I can really move up quick because there's a lot of new people in it. Like the, uh, I will say the new favorite new thing about like new post COVID comedy is that it feels like the deck got shuffled. Like a lot of people are bringing up new shows. A lot of places that had shows like the bar went under or they just stopped having comedy or whatever big fish or gatekeepers there were like refused to do anything on zoom or anything over the last year. So they haven't worked at all. And now it's like prime time to like be to like jump into a new scene because the the deck is shuffled anyway, and I can really, uh, I really feel like I have a chance to establish myself quicker than I did last time. Nice. Okay. Nice. All right. Next question the exact opposite. One thing you dislike and would like to see changed in your local scene? Um, I think there still needs to be more mics. Uh, there's been a couple. Uh, one thing I do love, I'll, I'll go back to something I love real quick, is uh, in San Diego, all three comedy clubs are within like a block and a half of each other. And if you go the right oh, night, nice. you can hit at least two of them. Uh, uh, there's like 140 people showing up to a fucking open mic. Like, it's glorious. Honestly, it's, it's, it's really nice. Uh, I would say I would like to see more mics in my area, but I think part of that responsibility relies on me. So uh, I would like to see another show ran by yours truly. All right. <laughs> Next question. Favorite local comedian. Uh, I've been in so many different scenes. Uh, I would give you one from the Bay to look out for uh, Connor Lonsdale. Mm, yeah. That dude is fucking fire. He legitimately makes yeah. me laugh every time I see him on stage. Yeah. Look out for that dude. All right. Um, we haven't done this in a while, so I got to get my shit. <laughs> Take your time. It's cool. Questions. <laughs> um, lastly, advice to new comedians. I give advice constantly. Um, I would say, uh, I mean, there's, there's just an endless supply of things. Uh, new, like define new. Let's go there. Can we say that? Like how new, like somebody who never tried it before. First year. First year, uh, you're not popular enough to be a shock comic. Fucking stop it. (laughs) (laughs) That is awesome. Like, you have to earn that audience. If you're going to be angry on the stage or just say whatever you want and be super self-indulgent, you're not going to last. You need to, if you're going to be angry, like Lewis Black, for example, you need to be angry for the audience. There's a difference between being angry at them and being angry for them. Uh, I would also say a heckler is an opportunity for a joke. Uh, it's on you to to volleyball it back. Uh, I, I think that that part's important. Uh, don't lose your shit. Otherwise, you lose to the heckler. Dude, in a yeah. couple of years, I think that's the best advice we've gotten. Yeah, that's some really good advice. <laughs> I try. There's a lot of shit that I see now with like brand new comics that I'm like, here's something you shouldn't do. 
Yeah. Uh, but the, the, the material thing really is one that's important. And I know comics that like just haven't fucking adapted people. I've been like tried to take under my wing and like, they're doing the same stuff they did three years ago. And it's like, you, you have to evolve. Otherwise you're, you're just, what are you doing here? You're just spinning your wheels, you know, learn how to work a crowd. You don't have to be shocking. Uh, it depends on where you are, but different jokes land in different places and you have to read the audience. The whole nice. Indian shake. Dude, I, I really dig your vibe, oh. Zach Zimmerman. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. You're fucking dope. Like, I, I really want to do a show with you. I'm down. Hey, as soon as I, I'll let you know when I'm coming up that way, and we'll definitely do some time together. All right. Yeah, I'm fucking down. Jackie Pearl and I will get together. We'll make a dinner. Up her, up Hell her yeah. Room. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, does anybody have anything else? Uh, I have one question. Do you have a leopard gecko? Leopard I have two gecko? leopard geckos. Okay. All right. I do too. I was just asking. Um, oh, cool. Have, yeah. They're chilling one. right next to me. I think uh, they just yeah. ate a big cricket meal. And so they're both hiding inside their temple. Thing, yeah. But when yeah. I uh, got divorced, my mom uh, brought my kids home with like two little boxes. One had a leopard gecko. One had a rabbit. And I'm like, uh, where are the fucking cages? Like, where's the, like, and she's like, oh, you can get all that. But like the rabbit, <laughs> the rabbit died, like I killed that off a while ago. But the leopard gecko is hella cool. Like I love him. He doesn't really bother me. Like he's Yeah, they're to super it, easy to handle. I, I yeah. worked at a pet co for a while and I got to okay. deal with all kinds of different animals because I was the animal handler guy. Uh, I can't tell you how many hamsters I got bit by and then yeah. sold to snake owners because, oops, we were out of rats. Um, uh, I used to be one of those snake orders that bought hamsters, yeah. and I agree with you. Hamsters are assholes. Hamsters yeah. are assholes, and they'll yeah. fuck your snake up. Like they, yeah. they, those teeth can chew through steel. Like your finger is nothing uh, to that. So little can thing. the rats, but they don't seem to as much as the hamsters. Right. Well, rats are like I don't know. Rats are a lot smarter than hamsters. Hamsters yeah. are brash. I, I we had we had a hamster in there one time, and like it got pink eye like three times. And after like the the first time, like it's a fifteen dollar hamster, and and you take it to the vet because you have to because you have the moral obligation because mm -hmm. it's a pet store and we take it to the vet and it costs like four hundred and fifty dollars to no, like, take no, this fucking thing in no. that hamster is fucking total right like at that point and it just kept biting everybody and like we kept having to keep it in the back because it would fight all of its mates and like there's this one dude who would come in like at night every couple of weeks and be like do you have a hamster like it was like a creepy thing almost he's like i've got a snake and i feed it to my snake but a lot of people don't like that i'm like not only do i have a hamster this time yeah, just the right he's one. free <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh i i somebody brought in some leopard geckos that were like bigger too big to fit in the tank with all the babies because they'll just eat all the food the babies can't hang you know mm -hmm. not that yeah. they are uh, aggressive or whatever but i adopted them because it came with this badass like 400 hundred dollar tank and why wouldn't awesome. i you know i did not know i was making a 20-year commitment to being the guy that buys a bag of bugs every week mm -hmm. yeah they live yeah. for fucking ever yeah, yeah. I didn't if you know don't take care of them. Long. I didn't know they lived that long. Um, so thanks for that. Um, yeah, I don't know how yeah. old they are already. They were already full grown, so I really it's hard to tell. But like, yeah. I've had them for at least four years, and they're not slowing down. Yeah, I've had mine since I got divorced in two thousand and fucking seven. Yeah. See, what is that? Yeah. What is that? At least fourteen, 14 years. Yeah. Jesus, that was that's a long time. <laughs> Ah. Well, you've done something right because the the, amp, the lizard's still alive. Yeah, and both the cats I got when my daughter started kindergarten are still alive too. Both of them. Uh, and now she just graduated high school, so fuck. Uh, oh, that, they are coming yeah, around the corner. Then you're in for a world of hurt. You're gonna have a really oh, shitty yeah. month in about in about a year. So you better buy some new wait. shoes and get those shoe boxes going, buddy. <laughs> Oh, I can't geez. wait. I, I had a friend. Wait. I had a friend who had a conure. Do you know what a conure is? Uh, a conure is like a small parrot. Like they're okay. about probably about yay high or so. Oh, that's cool. They're they're really pretty. Like they don't quite really talk. They're not quite that type of parrot, but uh, really pretty easy birds to handle. Uh, she came home drunk one night and was all playing with her bird and like doing whatever, fucking with it. And she passed out on her bed and she fucking rolled over on it and killed it. <gasps> and so, uh... This bird was probably going to outlive her, and it didn't last <laughs> uh... a year. <laughs> and so she paints this picture of like having to drag a shovel and a shoebox down the street with like this dead bird, like crying and dragging the shovel all hung over to go bury it in the fucking park. <laughs> oh man. That's funny. Buried oh, it man. in a park. <laughs> I mean, do you have a better place? 
She I lived think in you an could apartment. Flush a conure. No. Yeah, uh, just stuff uh, it down the garbage right. disposal. Uh, oh, that's <laughs> brutal. <laughs> I mean, their bones are tiny. <laughs> oh, that that's skull, true. I think, would I mean, have a rough time. I mean, if you really were dedicated to getting rid of it, you could fucking pluck Burn it and it. season it. Throw it. Throw it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> to the point there. Like, like Pinchy from The Simpsons. There's another <laughs> one for you. I remember that. <laughs> oh. All right, what's your random topic, Nick? I got to go to comedy. Oh, I like how Rob is getting upset, yet he's killed rabbits in his backyard that he for food <laughs> for sustenance. Or- That's what they were raised <laughs> for. They were raised. That was when we got them. That was what they were destined to from day one. You grew up on a farm? No, he just I, just, I had immigrant parents, so everything's a farm to them. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. That's fair. That's, mm-hmm. that's totally fair. Yeah. Animal husbandry is a little different over there. Totally. We had a goat in downtown Hayward. So my that's grandma's dope. an immigrant. She doesn't go in her backyard and kill animals. Depends yeah, on the I type of immigrant. Like Plus, yeah, you're Italian. He's Portuguese. No, they okay. got similar okay. stuff, but yeah. We're, pr- we're both pretty savage. Yeah. I, mean, I, I can see. I could see my grandma doing it. I'm just saying she doesn't. Yeah. She's never had. She didn't have to. 92, too. Yeah, she never has it in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. It's like my, it's like seeing my Uh-oh. grandma with What's a gun. This? Oh, all righty. Oh, I didn't want to. We don't need to talk What's about that? this one uh, 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 unless you guys want to. Oh, oh, snap. What happened? So, all right. So, uh, since it's up, I'll just briefly share it. Basically, uh, this uh, news story came out. The Indian Residential School Survivors Society, that's a mouthful, is calling on the federal government and the Catholic Church to take action following the discovery of the remains of 215 children buried at on the Kamloops Indian Residential School grounds. It happened in Canada. Okay. Oh, wow. This caused a huge stir on Twitter because I'd say a podcast that I used to follow um, just typed, yo, free shoes <laughs> because the picture I mean, is all the kids. Yeah. <laughs> too soon. I get it. <laughs> They're like each one of these kids could make this many shoes damn that's what they're missing (laughs) dude honestly that's lost gdp he (laughs) one of their replies to this after people just berated them was uh we apologize for this tweet um as a result we fired our 12 year old indian intern and we sent him back so now he's going to be making sneakers for the rest of his life you're oh. welcome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, oh, I love the double, double down. down. <laughs> hey, you, you know what? That's, that's his life. Just like his, the goat was bred for that. That's what, they, that's, that's what, right. that's what he's going to do. I, they should have been tipped off immediately, though. Like, I know they're Canadian, but any group named the IRS SS is probably not to be trusted. <laughs> yeah, you got the SS plus the IRS. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All righty. Yes. Um, so we'll just get to this one last topic so Danny D can go do her comedy. Whatever we got. Let's go. All right. Oh, okay. So I don't know if you guys know this, but apparently women are putting their abortions on TikTok. What, do you, what does that mean? Because normally they put you to sleep for that. So how are you going to put an abortion on TikTok? So here's a picture of me at the abortion clinic again because my birth control failed. Yeah. Okay. I mean, pulling out. <laughs> um you got one that says abortion check and then one that says mimosas hit different after an abortion uh, <laughs> i will say some of the videos know. are pretty funny um why are you watching these danielle it's nick watches them okay. and then she sends them to me okay danielle all right Okay. Your your wife watch no Nick's wife's name is Danielle. Your wife watches abortion videos on TikTok. No, she watches these TikTok like um, abortion videos. Like no, you just said <laughs> no. That's mash-ups. what you said. <laughs> no, she watches these mashup of like TikTok videos, and apparently this one popped up on her feed, and she just watched it. But there's one where you see the person zoom in on the abortion clinic looks back and then um, starts laughing. And then the girl in the back starts laughing. She's like, we're about to kill a baby. And then it cuts to them going into the. <laughs> wow. The that sounds like some propaganda bullshit to me. Personally. Yeah, so. yeah. That doesn't sound like, like prob- people that go and get an abortion don't really talk about it. 
like yeah. that often. Yeah, there, it's usually it's usually the this. hardest decision in that poor girl's life. But you know, yeah. abortion queen. Her name's a she calls her abortion queen. Wow, <laughs> that's However, some South Park shit. That little girl ain't no more than twelve years old. She's already had fourteen abortions. <laughs> <laughs> that's just not real enough for you. <laughs> He's got, got a, a lot of uncles. Cover. What do you want? <laughs> yeah. See, already, already, they didn't even make it halfway through the first fucking paragraph, and they already start mentioning Black Lives Matter, which has fucking nothing yeah. to do with abortions. <laughs> this is propaganda. Right. Yeah. Myth busted. Myth busted. I'm with you. That's right. <laughs> On to the next one. I mean, I can at least say, you know, for everyone I know that has had an abortion. Uh, you know, normally you don't talk about it till after, like a, a year or two. Like at least a year or two. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes people it. bring that shit to their graves. Sometimes never. Sometimes you don't even tell the guy. You're just like, fuck it. No, I handled it. It's good. Sometimes like, you wonder what happened to your girlfriend. Turns out she did that and then moved away without telling yeah. you. Yeah, because she didn't like you, and she definitely to didn't now. want to have your baby. So. Yeah, you see what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I can't find the. I'm not on TikTok, so I can't find the collaboration. I am on I TikTok, mean, but I'm scared to type that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to show like, videos of like babies getting sucked out. Not no, no. It's I mean, it's it's no. it's people who you know, like same way you make any fucking movie. It's just it's just editing. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, yeah. It's that's the joke. That's that's the new. That's this generation's take on dead baby jokes. Yeah. You're, and that's you know, a, when you go so PC, that's what's going to happen. Like people like go that far out of their way just to like prove a point to be like, ah, ha, ha, this is funny. Yeah. Like instead of just letting it be tongue in cheek, they have to be that nail on the head about it. I will say this. TikTok has some very good um, mashups of women shaking their booty. So, yeah, there are a lot of boobs on TikTok. Yeah. Kudos. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of great sweatpants, dick. Too. And it uh, was up with the whole Florida woman accused of raping. Oh, this is we have just, to know that. This all right. So this this is, is just my regular search. This has nothing to do with <laughs> weird topics. You cannot rape a man. Number one. Well, <clears throat> it's a twelve-year-old. Okay, that, okay. You can rape a kid. You can't rape a man, though. Oh yeah, you can. I think you can. Nah, uh, you can. Nah, nah. A man could rape a man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I'll allow that. A woman could rape a man with an object. Sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So a woman could a woman could <laughs> theoretically it, tie up a man and pump a bunch of Viagra yeah. into him. I mean, hell, Aldo, you... whatever. Okay. So I don't misery. Everyone, I mean, Sue. She's taking it back, rapable. guys. Everyone is rapable. I'm sorry. I take it back. <laughs> no matter what gender you are, you could be raped. Yes. I, yes. I, I love how that's the concession. She's like, fine, fine. Everyone is rapable, guys. <laughs> everyone hey. is rapable. <laughs> no. Um. So this lady, <laughs> the judge is like, no way. <laughs> she uh, molested a 12 year old, but the, that's not funny. But what is funny about this <laughs> silver lining what the fuck? is this dude's mustache. So um, yeah. basically during all this, uh, her name is, her last name is good. Ironically um, <laughs> raped the teen within an arm's length of a 12 year old girl. Now the girl awoke and then the 12 year old girl told investigators the teen boy whispered for her to help him, then got up and went to the bathroom and vomited. And they said that he vomited as a result of this lady having sex with him. But yeah. then he returned. Yeah, then, then he, he returned, returned to, to finish the deed. Yeah, so it's like, how bad well, was it? It was more of the motion than anything. He's like, all right, I'm yeah, back. He, she probably threatened him, you know. She's already raping a twelve-year-old. Called out a knife, like outside. you better quit puking and come love me. Back yeah, to yeah. the to the last name of Good. So there's a file that says this is the Good rape case. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, not the bad one. Yeah. Oh wait, it says a victim, a seventeen-year-old boy attended. It doesn't say she raped a twelve-year-old. <laughs> No, the twelve-year-old was next, oh, next to, to a sleeping twelve-year-old. Oh. Sorry. Why yes. is a seventeen-year-old sleeping with a twelve-year-old? No, they were they were at a birthday party. Yeah. Why is a seventeen-year-old sleeping with a twelve-year-old at a birthday party? <laughs> Why is yeah. a forty-three-year-old lady at the sleepover? She's probably one of the moms. Maybe she hosted it. Shit. But Maybe she was like, "Come on over, kids." Like, I'll be honest. She's the only one in the neighborhood with a bouncy house. 
<laughs> you got that gator slip and slide. It's I mean, it's no. fucking twelve year old boy catnip. Like I'll be honest, I've I fucked some dogs, but none of them <laughs> some have real, ever some actual dogs. <laughs> yeah, schnauzers. Yeah. <laughs> schnauzers. <laughs> I'm a bull mastiff. I like them thick. No, nice. No. <laughs> he likes to drool. <laughs> wow. But I mean. No woman has ever been so ugly where it's led me to vomit. No. <laughs> Afterwards. I mean, she but looked like she'd be big. Like, you could get a lot of motion with that. Maybe he was drunk. 17? Probably. Hope not. Well, well, was he uh, drinking? Oh, so. Yeah, he was drinking. I have thrown up oh, because of the act. Drinking. She crashed the party. Wait, hold on, hold on. You've thrown up because of the act? Yeah, man. I I one time was already spinning at, at a birthday oh. party, and then th- I walked this girl out to the outside, and I was like, going to go lay down. And then some other chick showed up and was like, hi, what's your name? And took me back to the room and starts doing her thing. And I had to fucking push her face off of me and go and fucking throw up. And I felt so guilty because it had nothing to do with her. I was just yeah. fucking wasted. <laughs> I, I was not the person to be blowing that night, unfortunately. <laughs> You're not. Hey, at least you didn't. I know a comic that was getting a blowjob, and he'll tell you guys the story, but he was getting a blowjob, and he has a bad, like, gag reflex, and so she was, like, playing with his cum, and he vomited on her face. Oh. Vomited on her face. That's, All over. that's cool of her, though. I mean, good for her. Um, she sounds like a great friend. <laughs> no, no, no. My friend is the guy who vomited on the bitch. I don't. Yeah, know I know, but she sounds like real nice, l- real nice lady. That's all Spit, I'm saying. Swallow yeah, or gargle. Yeah, that's Sacramento quality. Uh, you know. Sacramento. Hey, that's cool. That's why they, that's yeah. that they're putting the sack in Sacramento, right? Got to tend that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, if you, if some guy threw up on me after I just made him, oh hell, <laughs> over. I'm I was like, to- what did you say? And he's like, she just got up. Washed her face off real That's quick. a whole new I genre of porn, the vomit walk. Oh my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. What, what, I wonder what grossed him out about a woman playing with his... He has like, a gag reflex. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he has a weak stomach, he said. I don't fucking know. Pussy. Have we had him on? Yeah, and he was drunk. Have we had him on? We're about we to. We have? Yeah. Oh boy. Dude. More than once. <laughs> He'll tell you guys the story. It doesn't fucking matter. I've had some shit happen, but that one wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, no. Was it David Thorne? <laughs> if we brought, if we had a podcast just about stories like this, I'll come back and we'll have some shit to talk oh, about. Hell yeah. <laughs> fucking I'm down. Let's have a sex story podcast. I'm so, I mean, it'll work with right. our fucking name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Blowjob story edition. <laughs> All righty. Well, does anybody have anything Finally. else before we head out? I don't know why I keep opening my arms like I'm fucking embracing something. Right? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I will say I have embraced this fully. This has been a lot of fun. You guys are great. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming on. on. You are oh. spectacular. You're way better than I fucking thought you were going to be. I thought you were someone completely different, don't, too. Don't so, don't. Hey, God. that works. You're fucking great. <laughs> cool. I'm glad. Hey, if I'm winning fans, that's <laughs> all I care about. I don't know who you <laughs> thought I was, but this suck. is who I am. <laughs> <laughs> She's That's gonna go fair. Like, Why'd you just let that go? <laughs> That's and fair. I mean, She's I like, mean, I took one look people. at you and thought, this ain't it. But after talking to you, <laughs> I saw the last name Zimmerman and thought you were going to be a horrible monster. But turns out. <laughs> right, right. I like how Danny's just like, I meet a lot of people. Don't get offended. No, it's cool. Because I'm in the game, too. And I've been through three different scenes. Yeah. I know how it goes. I know about yeah. nine fucking Danielles in the comedy scene, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So same I, shit. You probably know 13 Zacks. It's all good. I know two. I know two. <laughs> we only know one Zach Z. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, guys. Thank you, Zach, for coming on. Everybody else, stay safe. All right. Yeah. Bye, boys. Late.